when you go back to your house tonight, before you sleep, check your bed and check the furniture in your bedroom. See if it's properly placed. Make sure that the wardrobe will not fall on you when the earthquake hits you tonight. Disaster reduction is not necessarily a very attractive issue. It's human nature that you don't want to see the risk. We cannot prepare for everything. But if we are better prepared, at least we can have quick recovery. In Japan, we have something called the real-time earthquake early warning system. There's a time difference between the primary wave and the secondary wave of a major earthquake. Usually, the disaster comes from the secondary wave. So using the time difference, we can earn five to 10 seconds, maybe 60 seconds, before the main shake comes. In the case of the March 11 earthquake, we in Japan have the Shinkansen bullet trains. They were running at the speed of 270 kilometers per hour. But using this system, they put on the emergency brakes, speed it down, to about 100 kilometers. So when the main shake came, no derailment, so no injuries, no fatalities. But unfortunately, approximately 20,000 people were trapped. The prediction was for a magnitude 8.2 or 8.3 earthquake. But the real earthquake was magnitude 9, which is far stronger. It really emphasizes that we have to be better prepared. But to do this, you need proper investment. We need international concerted action to propagate the idea that disasters can be reduced.